Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. Um, new project on the bench. Uh, we're going to tackle this uh, AMT uh, 63 Corvette Stingray. Um, first impressions with this kit, I don't know why I'm a glutton for punishment, but this AMT kit, guys, um, uh, what can I say? Uh, stay away from it. Um, the only thing it's got going for it, it comes with a couple of half-decent motors, and the chrome on the chrome tree is good. Other than that, the model's a pile of crap. Um, but we're going to try and make our make our make it our own, and uh, we can uh, make a pig out of a sow's ear. Um, anyway, when you look at the box art, the box art looks pretty good, especially when you look at. Oh, hang on. When you look at this side of the box, get this in frame. Got a detailed chassis. Interior looks pretty cool. And profile of the car is pretty good in the box. Uh, a little high for my liking, but overall it, it looks pretty good like a good kit. Until you open the box. Let's get this crap out of the way. Hang on. Alright, so what you get is there's your basic kit. And when you start looking at it, oh, the bottom of it, chassis is all one piece. Exhaust is molded in. Uh, suspensions molded in it's got little things you can put in to adjust the wheel height so it basically takes axles in it and it gets even better um, other than a firewall which doesn't come right down to the bottom of the chassis um, there's no engine bay details at all which I guess maybe because it's a race car it doesn't have that but it's got to have more detail than what's in this piece of crap now we move on to the interior. Molded one piece tub with the frickin' seats molded into. Um, and the seats look like what used to be in my grandmother's house in her living room that she used to sit on. So, um, we got some work to do. Uh, the only thing that looks good, half decent, is the dash in this thing. Um, so, what I may do is I may. I may cut the seats out of this and put some different seats in here. I um, have to give that some more thought because the more I look at those seats, they, they're just going to drive me nuts. Um, so, other than that, guys, it's, uh, it's kind of a pile of poop. Um, but anyway, we're going to try and make something out of this. And what my basic plans are is we're going to build the motor pretty much stock. Um, it comes with a couple of different options. It's got a supercharger um, on it. And hang on a second. Get this crap together. Hang on. Oh my god, come on. It's more of a snap kit. Haha. <laughs> um, so the plans are for this thing is we're going to um, do the uh, supercharger. Uh, the engine in this thing. Hang on, we'll get you up and get a better view of what's going on here. Kind of the basic plans. My gut, the way my gut's kind of lead me on this thing. Hold on. Oh, going to stay? Not a girl. So, what we're going to do is, as I mentioned, we're probably going to cut the seats out of this thing. Um, use one of the motor options. We're going to dress it up a little bit with some of the goodies from off the sprue and I may even machine my own pulleys for the uh, blower setup on it. I may try that. I've got a couple ideas to use for belts but anyway. Uh, we'll we'll kind of work on that as we progress. Anyway, so if we ditch kind of the interior and the chassis for now and kind of get you where we want to be with this thing and the overall look we want to get. Uh, we're going to use the tires and the wheels that came with the kit. Um, I'm going to use, uh, I need a deeper dish to the back wheel so I'm going to use my um, uh, wheel rings that I sell it off the sprue and yeah, we're going to use the uh, the deep ones with this to get the wheels set back uh, fronts we're just going to run them just standard uh, with the tires and we're going to try and get this thing we're going to get in some tubbing here too boys because we're going to run some fatties on the back and right about like there and we're going back down So, 
that's the kind of stance we want to get out of this thing. So we got a bit of work to do ahead of us, and um, I need to figure out how I'm going to exit the exhaust um, out here too. Um, probably what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I'm going to make some headers out of solder. And I'm going to exit those. Where's my pointy toothpick? Um, they give you, it comes with it in the kit. Uh, I don't know if I have it here. Oh, yeah, I do too. They've got these little, come on, they've got these little plates that are supposed to glue on here over the um, insets in the side fender. Um, but I'm probably not going to run those. Probably what I'm going to do is run, make some headers out of solder for the motor. And run them out here and cut four holes and uh, use some aluminum uh, aluminum tubing on the end of the solder to exit out uh, two on the top, two on the bottom on these insets. And what I may do just for heat protection, wink wink, um, is maybe chrome foil that inlay in there um, just to give it the appearance that maybe it's got a stainless steel or chrome plate. Um, just for heat protection from the tailpipes on there. Uh, we'll see when we get it painted and get exhaust positioned and how I'm going to finish that area off. But that's kind of where I want to go with this, guys and gals. Um, and again, it's early stages. We're still going through planning and fit and finish and what the heck I'm going to do with this interior. Um, it was almost a stumbling block as soon as I opened the kit and went, oh my God, what is this? But anyway... We're going to try and make something out of it, guys and gals. Anyway, um, that's the plans, and we'll get to it here uh, pretty quick. And uh, as usual, we'll keep it posted. So thanks for stopping by, and we'll talk to you soon. See you later.